What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, me Hernandez. Now today, we're gonna be cleaning up some Jordan 8 chromes. These right here. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this cleaning. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we are cleaning today. So we got the Jordan 8 chromes. You see them, they are dusty. Creases heavy so right now we're just taking a look at the outside of the shoe let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the shoe take a look at the medial side of the shoe look at the, t the top of the shoe these creases there's something to work with right and last but not least let's take a look at the bottom of the shoe so we're going to first start off with unlacing the shoe now i mentioned it before i am going to just cut right to it so i hate doing this part so y'all not gonna see it all right so we went ahead and got the shoe unlaced put the shoe lace to the side right now we're not going to worry about that and we are going to add a shoe tree and that shoe tree is going to help us remove these creases all right so we got the shoe tree inserted into the shoe now we're going to first start off with is dusting this access dust off of the shoe All right, so we went ahead and got the shoe dusted off. What we're gonna be using today, my favorite product because it is A, the cheapest, and you can get it whenever you want. Yeah, Dawn dish soap. This stuff works wonders. Get the clear, not the blue or green or whatever other colors I got. All right, so I got my bowl with water here. Soap is already in here. So now we're just gonna start off with the outside of the shoe using a soft bristle brush. It doesn't take long to clean shoes. I know sometimes it can be a headache, but trust me, I'd rather have clean shoes, take a couple minutes out of my day to get these uh, shoes looking fresh and clean. That way you rocking some fresh clean kicks and you ain't walking around all dusty footed. <laughs> dusty footed. I am going in circular motions when you work with new bucks, suede and, and whatnot. I always just going in circular motion. Why? I mean, even if you're going back and forth, it doesn't mess the shoe up. But to me, it just makes the whole cleaning process easier. I don't know why. It just does. But I guess my point is, like, really, you don't need anything fancy to clean your shoes. The most important part or the, you know, the main part about cleaning shoes is making sure you thoroughly rinse whatever chemical that you put on your shoe whether it's like a an actual shoe cleaner whether it's uh you know soap anything like that you just the main thing that you want to do is completely rinse the shoe off that's where people mess up i think you know when i first started collecting shoes i would clean my shoes with soap and water i'm pretty much doing now but the only mistake that I was doing, you know, when I first started off in my younger years is I would literally just wipe the shoe off and go about my business. So my shoes stayed like sticky. They stayed greasy. You know, all the product wasn't washed out of the shoe. And it just called for like a big ass mess. You know what I mean? Your, your shoes deteriorate quicker, faster. They get dirty quicker because they just got this soap stuff just sitting all on them. And it's just attracting the dirt. 
whatever cleaning product you use just make sure you take a couple minutes yeah you're not going to be able to rock them today maybe not even tomorrow but as long as you rinse this soap off you're good because i know people are probably gonna be like oh dude you don't want to put like dishwashing soap on your kicks bruh just rinse it off make sure they're completely rinsed off throw them in the washer if you have to just do not dry them and you'll be golden like sneaker cleaning to be honest with you it's not it's not a crazy science you know what i mean you just have to make sure you get all the product off that's like when you wax in your car you don't put the wax on there and then just walk away from it because that's gonna mess up your car you put the wax on there you wipe it off as best you can and your car is shining same things like your shoes you clean them with whatever you got available you don't need to go out there and spend anything spend you know 30 40 dollars on a cleaning kit that's gonna do the same thing as soap and water as long as you rinse them off make sure you get all that product completely off your shoe i've been doing this for years years my shoes haven't faded they haven't cracked they haven't done anything all right so <laughs> we did use the stiff bristle brush to hit up this outsole or the midsole my bad so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clean up the bottom of the shoe because i know i mentioned it before I, I don't i'm not crazy about cleaning the bottom of shoes or whatever but for the sake of videos why not let's just do it and you can see how fast i'm doing it like i'm not really cutting anything out other than unlacing the shoes <laughs> you know what i mean now i haven't decided yet if i'm gonna throw these in the washer they may need it um not 100 percent sure and i i know you guys see me hitting the top up after i just clean the bottom but again it's because i'm gonna rinse the shoe off but anyway this stiff bristle brush isn't really that stiff i mentioned it in the other videos that it's more like a medium bristle it's not it's not a stiff bristle like like rejuvenators a uh, stiff bristle brush so yeah i'm using it on the new butt i have add like that so i like to kind of go over it one more time just just to make sure i got everything taken off all right so we're done with that brush so now we're gonna go ahead and uh clean the laces up and yeah i'm gonna do it this way dunking it in the bowl of water and kind of just cleaning them off with my hands I don't really do this. I, I usually just grab the brush. And the only reason I grab the brush is because I don't like my hands being soapy. With gloves or without gloves. I just, I hate it. <laughs> I just don't like doing it. Alright, so we went ahead and got the shoe, the shoelaces cleaned up. Got the shoe cleaned up. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rinse this shoe off. Make sure all the soap is completely off. And... I'll probably lace these off camera because everybody knows how to lace a pair of shoes and it just takes me forever because that's something that I, I said in every video I truly hate but once this shoe is back it's going to be dry and then we're going to hit this new buck up so it's looking fresh like you just got them out the box all right so stay tuned so we got the shoes back fresh clean let's go ahead and take a look at them taking a look at the front of the shoe go ahead and take a look at the medial side of the shoe now I don't know if you guys remember but those creases that we had let's take a good look creases are gone so one more step that we're gonna go through is we're gonna use rejuvenators uh water and stain repellent and this is mainly just to like it is repel any watermarks or stains i'm just going to spray a little bit on the shoe running out need to get some more 
some on the medial side, some on the on the toe. All right, so now they've got that done, we're gonna use our same Rejuvenator soft bristle brush, kind of just to work that in. Put a little bit more up here up top. Now I'm just working that, that repellent into the actual new buck, the medial side. So now the shoe is completely protected. So next time you want to go ahead and rock these, they're going to be looking fresh out the box. Also, take a look at the bottom. This is a little stained. I'm not too worried about it. Like I mentioned, they're going to get dirty anyway. But there it is. I just want to thank you guys for taking the time out to watch this video and uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe for more content like this. All right, peace.